A lot of you guys have asked how to add DMR um, systems to your scanner. And we're going to be using Sentinel today. I have Sentinel open and ready to go. And I'm going to show you how to manually enter um, DMR. So if you, if you, a lot of, that's one of the biggest questions out there, the most confusion. So I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, right now I'm just in Clark County. So you can find your county and then just find all the trunk systems. Um, if you pull up your county, you'll notice uh, when you first come in here, you'll see entity, entity type, trunk. So we're just gonna come in here and then grab a frequency uh, or a system that we wanna use. So this is DMR Motorola Capacity Plus Single Site Turbo. So it'd be the Moto Turbo inside of the radio. So we're gonna grab this one um, and we're gonna program this using uh, Sentinel. So um, we're gonna start off by heading over to Sentinel. And what you want to do is, you can do this without your scanner plugged in, obviously. Um, I have mine uh, ready to go, but you can do this without your scanner plugged in. You can make the list and everything and save it and then attach your scanner and, and put it on there in a little bit. But I'll show you how to do that. So um, now what we're going to do is just go to edit and edit favorites list. And we want to do a new favorites list. And this one we're just going to call um, the aeronautical cap or radio cap. So we're just going to, I'm going to paste that right in here. And then it's going to open up, it's going to open up the favorites list editor. And that's a separate page, obviously, than the main page. So we're editing this system now. Um, what we want to do is just go ahead and um, we want to add a system. And this is going to be, again, this Moto Turbo trunk. And we're going to name the system. And we're just going to name that the same thing. And now we're going to come in here and we're going to come over to sites. So uh, we want sites. Okay. And in the sites, um, what we're going to do is jump back over. Um, actually, for the sites, we want to just go ahead and add the site. And then for this, we're going to come back over to, um, to here. So this is this is the airport. So we're going to be naming it. This is the name of, of what we're building here. So we're just going to copy this, come back over to Sentinel, favorites list editor, just double click in here, paste that. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me see. Grab this again. There we go. Okay. So loss airport CC1. Okay. And then what this, what this CC1 refers to, just to clear that up, it, the CC1 uh, refers to the color code. Um, so if I go ahead and click into this, um, the CC1, if we click into this, we get this page right here and we can see that the color code is one. Um, we don't need to worry about entering multiple frequencies, but the color code is one. So we'll come back over to um, Sentinel in the favorites list and we're going to enter our frequency. So um, we want to click here and then we want to click on and then uh, the plus button to add a frequency. And then we just want to paste in that frequency. And then the color code, we want to set that to one. And then the LCN, uh, we'll jump back over here. You can see the LCN is zero one. Zero one, so we'll set that. And now, okay, and now that is done. Um, now what we want to do is click back over to the um, system here and we want to add a department. So now we want to add this department here um, and then we want to add the talk group and everything inside of here. So what we can do is just we want to add a channel. Okay. And then um, the talk group ID, if we jump back over, um, this is gets where it gets kind of confusing. So um, if we go back one page, 
So this is the main page for Aeronautical Cap where we clicked into. So you'll notice down here the um, talk group, it's 31. Okay, so we wanna take this and put this into Sentinel into our editor. Uh, we wanna put the talk group 31. And then service type, um, we're just gonna go aircraft right here, just because it's, uh, you know, the airport. Um, and that's basically it. So now it's saved. So everything we need is in here. We got the frequency, we got the color code, we got the LCN, we got the department, uh, we got the, the talk group ID. And now all we need to do is uh, just click file and then save. And then it'll show up in your favorites list uh, in, for your scanner here. So once we exit, we just click exit on that editor and you'll notice down here at the bottom, it'll show up right here. So now it's inside of the favorites list um, for the scanner. So now we can go ahead and add it to the scanner. So remember to always read from the scanner first and then write. Um, I've already, I haven't done any updates manually on my scanner, so I'm just going to go ahead and write straight to it. Um, I already have it connected and I'm just going to fully write to it and add this system in here. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention as well before I end this quick little video is that um, the, if we go back into edit, edit favorites list, and then we want to edit this again. Um, I think it's in the site section here or the department, maybe location. So location, what we can actually do is add this as well. So um, if we click back inside of here, we can actually grab the latitude. So I'm just going to copy this, add this into Sentinel. Uh, so just paste this in here and grab the longitude. Paste that in here as well. And then the range is also shown. So um, five miles. So you can see the map here. I'm way out of the range here, so I'm not gonna be able to pick this one up, but five miles. So we're just gonna, we're gonna also include that. That way it, all the proper location data is inside the scanner. Um, and then we'll just click save again exit and now it's updated in the favorites list and now we just click scanner right to scanner again and now the location data is in there as well um, let me know if you have any questions i can go over more of these if you want these are fun um, but yeah that's how you uh, enter dmr through sentinel for the sds 100 make sure to subscribe Thanks again. If you guys want to hop on my new email list, uh, run over to boyinascanner.com um, and support the channel by hopping on that list. And um, yeah, I'll just let you know uh, what's going on. And uh, I got some plans for that. I won't um, say them yet, but um, just hop over there if you want to support the channel, hop on the list and make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, share this video if you found it helpful. Leave me some comments, questions you have. Uh, have a great weekend. Cheers.